Have you ever wanted to play with Traincraft, but you didn't know how to install it? Well, you're in luck, because I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. First, you want to open up the internet. Any browser should work. Type in CurseForge, one word, and go to the download page. Once there, click on Download for Windows. Unless you're using Mac, then you can click that button. Once you click it, it'll bring this up. You just have to click this little down arrow once it's done and click show in folder. It'll bring you to your downloads where you can then double click to run it. Now OBS won't pick this part up, but there should be a little window that opens saying, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? If that happens, just click yes. And it should bring you to this page that's opening right now. CurseForge has been successfully downloaded. Good luck, have fun. Now you can just look for CurseForge. If I'm going too fast for you, you can just pause the video or slow it down by going into settings and just choosing a slower speed. Now go back to your downloads, and it should be right here. Since I've already installed it, I'm just going to open up the Start Menu and search Curse Forge. If it's not in your downloads, you can also do the same thing. Once it opens, it'll probably bring you here. All you have to do is click on or install Minecraft through CurseForge, and when it's done, click on Create Custom Profile. Here, you can make the profile that the mods are going to go in. So, give it whatever name you want. Select the version. Most like you, you're going to want 1.7.10, as that's the newest version of Traincraft right now. And click on Create. Once it's done, you click on it, go over to Add More Content, and just search for Traincraft. And then you just click on install, and you're pretty much done. Now we just have to wait for it to download. While it's downloading, you could get other mods if you want. I usually get things like mouse tweaks, journey map, just helpful things like that. But for the tutorial, I'm only going to get Traincraft. Once it's done installing, you can go ahead and click this X, and you can click play. Now just make sure it's the same name there. If not, you can click on this and select the correct profile, and then click play. You can just click on yes for that, it's just because you're playing with mods, mojangs, like ah, the game might crash. And just like that, the game is loaded. Now, you know, you can do just create a new world and start playing with trains. Now you can go ahead and build your rail empire and do whatever you wanted to do. I wish I had a tutorial like this when I first started playing Traincraft, because I was so confused. Anyways, that's it for this video. Oh, that is not... You know, it's fine. Drifty trains. <laughs> so, press like if you like the video. Uh, if you like it, more people can find the video too, and it will help more people. And also, see this turn? This is new. Traincraft is, like, actually adding a lot of new stuff, which is pretty nice. So, subscribe so you don't miss what happens next, because I make other Traincraft content too, and you can join the Discord server, which is in the link in the description, for forced- oh. Oh. Yeah, you can join for more stuff, fun stuff. It's good. You should like and subscribe. See ya.